Deals like this are what's gonna keep businesses alive. Hi everybody, Neil Winteregg here. Welcome back to the Business Newsroom. Today we are gonna continue to talk about our uh, retail apocalypse that is going on here in the United States with all of the stores that are going bankrupt and all the new news that's going on around that. And also I wanna highlight one company that's actually doing it right, believe it or not. There is one out there that I actually think is doing it right. But before we continue on, be sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on all the new stuff that's coming out because you aren't gonna wanna miss it, I promise. Today I wanna talk a little bit about Best Buy. And the reason I wanna talk about Best Buy is because I was sitting here, I was doing some research, and I was actually going through a whole list of companies that are having store closures, uh, on the verge of bankruptcy, et cetera. The most recent one to fall victim to the bankruptcy bug is Payless. Payless is closing all of its stores and it's also closing its e-commerce store, which my first thought was what e-commerce store because I did not know that they had one. So that is also going away for all of you Payless e-commerce people. Now, there's a lot of other stores. Obviously last year, uh, the Sears bankruptcy thing went through. They are gonna rebrand I give them two years to go through the proceedings and then be bankrupt again. Toys R Us is gonna try and have a revival. That actually might work. I read some information on they're gonna have smaller stores, like 10,000 square foot stores. They're gonna have, uh, there's a new holdings company that has it. I don't know all the legal jargon behind it, but they're gonna try and have some sort of a comeback, maybe even with a different name, which I, I don't know why you would do that because Toys R Us is the name. But anyway, we were talking about Best Buy because I thought for sure I'd be seeing Best Buy as popping up in the store closure world. And I actually couldn't find any Best Buy problems, so I started researching it. And it turns out Best Buy is actually thriving and doing pretty well. And so I wanted to validate them and talk a little bit about how they changed and what brought them to where they are. So I found an article on CNN Business, and in 2012, they were about to go under, the CEO resigned, the stock tanked even harder, and a new CEO came on, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, it's Hubert Jolly. Um, Hubert came on and he said, listen, we're gonna make Best Buy awesome. And they've actually made a number of changes to fight Amazon, and this proves that you can. So one of the things that they did was they did a price match guarantee. And they said, hey, listen, if you are here and you're in the store, uh, and you can get it cheaper on Amazon, we will do a price match guarantee. Because what they are finding before this was everybody would come in, play with stuff, check it out, make sure that it was the product that they wanted, and then they would leave and they would order it on Amazon. So they did a price match guarantee, very smart move. Next, they started offering uh, same day pickup on electronics and things that you buy on their website. So I can go to the website and I can actually then just drive down to the store and pick it up. Uh, Mr. Jolly said in an interview here in the uh, CNN Business article that 40% of their online sales are picked up same day in the store. That is fantastic. That means that they've actually made something that actually moved and made a difference in their statistics, which is fantastic. Most companies, when they hit this mark of sliding and all that, they just go into economize mode and try and hold on to what little that they have. This guy came in and said, how do we make more money? And I mean, I remember the first time I walked into a Best Buy and I saw like dishwashers and, and stuff like that. I was like, dishwashers at Best Buy? Uh, washing machines? I had no idea, but they were smart. They moved into that electronics game and they made it happen. Now, another interesting thing in this article here, well, two interesting things. Uh, one is, um, <laughs> They say uh, Jolly's biggest focus has been on strengthening Best Buy's customer service. I think that that's good, but I think it needs a long way to go. As you might know my story of going into Best Buy and trying to give them $800 for a computer. It gets pretty interesting. But um, in this article here, they say that 40% uh, of the online orders are picked up in store because people know that they can get it right away. And another key advantage that they have is that Best Buy knows that when you have questions or you wanna play with an item or you wanna test it, the only way you can do that is by going to a store. And this is exactly what I've been saying for so long is that there are certain things you will not be able to buy online. Yes, it's great that Amazon can get you anything you want in 48 hours, okay? but 
sometimes I don't know if I want it. And sometimes there's things that I want to buy, but they don't sell them anywhere else. For instance, I know this is a really small example, but it's an example. Um, I had gotten a piece of electronic equipment uh, and I wanted to find a way of sort of mounting it and being able to use it easier. And I thought, oh, it's about the same size as a cell phone. It's about, you know, maybe I could get a cell phone holder and I could just put it on there. And so I took my piece of equipment and I went to three different stores. I went to Office Max uh, or Office Depot, whatever it is, Office Depot. I went to a Target and I went to one other place. And I said, hey, I'm trying to find the cell phone stand. And they say, oh yeah, we don't sell those here. And I was like, oh. Uh. The only place I could buy it was on Amazon. And I ended up buying like three of them and none of them actually really ended up working except for one. Anyway, it was just a lot of extra work because then I had to return two and I got to repackage it. And it was just one of those things where if I could have just walked into a store that sold that, I would have not have had to go through all the extra effort. So it's great that I was able to get it and I was able to return the other things, but you know, I spent a lot of extra time that I didn't have to being able to do that. So there are times when going to a store is very relevant and I think that the way Best Buy has pivoted with all this, they've done really well. Another thing that uh, Mr. Jolly did that I really like was that he realized people wanna play with stuff and use stuff before buying it. So they've actually made the stores like a showroom and they've signed contracts with Apple and even Amazon and Microsoft to have them be like a mini showroom for these companies. And I think that is genius. It means Microsoft and Amazon and Apple can actually have a store and even hire somebody to go and work their store within Best Buy. And it actually makes both brands money and exposure and makes them both successful. That type of thinking is so smart. And that's exactly what I was talking about with Sears when we did the original video. They made no adjustments or changes. And now that they're going into bankruptcy, the only thing they're gonna do is economize and try and spend less money. They have not brought up any way of making more money. And that's what is wrong with all these companies that are going on. They're having financial problems, so they figure out how to economize themselves into savings. Never going to happen. You have to figure out how to make more money. So, my hat is off to you, Mr. Hubert Jolly. I am very impressed with what I have found with what you've done. I think you've made a lot of great business moves. It even says in here, which is something I did not know, by the way, before I, I sign off here. They actually signed a exclusive deal with Amazon to sell Alexa devices uh, and TVs in the store that you can't get anywhere else. That is awesome. Deals like this are what's gonna keep businesses alive because people always wanna use a product before they buy it. And like I said, Amazon has convinced us that we can get anything we want within two days to our home, sometimes in one day. But I honestly think that that just makes us lazier and lazier as people and we need to stop being so damn lazy and actually get off our butts and do stuff every now and then. So I love what Best Buy's doing. I do think that they need some help in their customer service department. Um, I know that there's uh, so much extra training that can be done, much better communication levels and product knowledge for people working in the areas. But even with that, they are the only electronic store that is actually really still standing. Uh, and I think that they've made a lot of really good things. So Mr. Jolly, you've done a good job here. Uh, I would love to work with you on your customer service a little bit more. <laughs> but Best Buy is still rocking and rolling. And for all of you out there, if I were you, I would go take a lap around a Best Buy. I had to do that a couple of months ago and I looked around and I saw everything that was going on and I thought, this store is completely different from what it used to be. And I really actually appreciate that. And I think that that's why they're the only ones still standing. So I'll see you all next week on the Business Newsroom.